So this guy here just got done from surgery. Don't know if you can see him. But there's a fee cat in there, regular feline. And he's in his carry cage because he is so feral that he sliced me open pretty good. And I was trying to put him in the cage. Just got him back from the vet's office. And if you can see, bill for two sixty nine sixty eight, and that's what it costs to get this guy fixed. And he's just a stray. It's part Siamese, part tabby. You can't really tell because he's not happy right now being messed with. And according to several of my neighbors, we have an inundation of cats. People just like to dump them off in their yards and then leave them for other people to worry about. And unfortunately, this guy and his cohorts have poached away a lot of the birds. And so we've got an inundation of flies, mosquitoes, and hornets out here as a result of none of the birds able to pick them off naturally. So this is just going to be a start. I'm going to try and catalog as much as I can as far as how this guy and his other compatriots are doing. But I don't know if you can see, maybe I'll hold up the picture they got at the vet's office. It's a little bit better. You can see he's actually a really cute guy. Again, this is what I had to pay because somebody doesn't want to take care of their own cat. So, and this is what happened to my thumb. Can't really see it too good. Maybe if I get better under the light here. That one got filleted wide open. So I'm pretty sure by tomorrow I may have to go on antibiotics for that sucker. And then, this one's actually not too bad on my left finger. It did break the skin. But this is, even with gloves on, trying to corral a feral cat. What can happen? So here he is on Freedom Day, and you can tell he's a feral cat, obviously, because he's just standing right back there terrified. I picked a spot out in nature. I don't know if you can hear. There's a river in the background away from the main highway. Though I don't like doing this, there's a ton of stray cats in this area. And he's unfortunately adding to the problem. But at least this poor guy is now fixed and has his shots. So here we go. There he goes. Off behind the trees and off he goes. A little bit of the after action. You can see this bed. I have a spare bedroom. All of these sheets are going to have to be stripped down and clean. Because he's urinated and as you can see right here. He's defecated all over, not because he's a bad cat, he just has no idea what this litter box is for. I don't think that thing's been touched. You can see the bowl of water I had out for him. It's an extra lighting fixture I was trying to get set up. And you can see there's a bowl of food that I just took out of the carry cage. The doctor didn't want him to have too much to eat just after surgery so I gave him some extra food just to take his pain medicine and stuff with and then you can see here this is the live trap that I used to catch him 
I was trying to catch my own cat who's been missing for over a week now and I ended up catching him instead. And that's why a lot of the locals around here warned me that if I leave traps out and stuff that there are tons of strays up in this area. That people just like to take their dogs and cats even in the middle of winter they said. Um, and we'll uh, dump them out in the middle of nowhere. Literally, because where we're at in the middle of winter, there's maybe 10 people that live out here. But people assume because it's out in the middle of nowhere and people out here tend to have a little bit of money to be able to afford these expensive houses that they can just dump them out here and magically they'll just take care of themselves. And as you can see right there is my oldest cat. She's about 17. And I actually got her as a stray. She just walked in one day and hasn't left in about 16, 17 years. And I've got two other cats, plus my cousin's bringing in a couple cats of her own. I flash. And so that's why I wasn't even going to try to keep him and train him. Because I've already got five cats. And... I forgot to mention from yesterday the war wounds. I don't know if you can see on my finger here. This wound has really opened up a little bit. And I'm going to switch camera angle here. And there's this wound. It has really opened up. So, probably another day or so, I might have to go to a doctor and get that drained in some antibiotics, some Keflex or something. So, 